still getting over a sickness a little bit, but listen, it's education time, all right? I originally was gonna make this video at the beginning of this year, but a couple of my contemporaries already made videos on it, and I was like, it's probably gonna die down in the next couple months. Like, there is no way that spray packs are still gonna be a thing by the end of 2024. And it's December, mid-December at that, and it looks like it's still a thing and it's still a very prominent thing. People in New York are loving it. Now it's spreading out of that state. The more I go on Twitter and social media and Reddit, the more I'm seeing spray packs and the more I'm seeing people get fucked over. So, speaking of getting fucked, quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Adam and Eve. Yes, that Adam and Eve, the number one adult store in the world. Listen, it's the holidays, man. If you don't know what to get your significant other, Get them a little toy and call it a day. They'll be hyped. A lot of stocking stuffers, a lot of bum stuffers, a lot of good stuff, man. You can use my code CON for 50% off one item and free shipping. Get fucked in a good way, not a bad way with the spray packs. Now listen, what is spray packs? Spray packs are a category of bud that's absolutely exploded in 2024, mainly in New York City, and it comprises of bud that is sprayed with terpenes. Now it used to be, like at the beginning of this year, end of 2023, spray pack used to be just purely garbage packs, right? These were just the lowest of the lows that these people couldn't get rid of normally. And I'm talking about, at best, you're talking about outdoor packs, outdoor pounds, four to $600, not the best stuff ever. And at worst, you're looking at hemp packs, you're looking at CBD flour, you're looking at just shit that just wouldn't sell at all on the shelves. And then they realized, wait, if we add a little bit of this, if we add a little bit of flavoring, if we add a little bit of smell, if we add a little bit of terpenes, maybe we can start moving this product. And that's what it started off as, right? Now it's gotten to a point where this spray pack is so popular and it's demanding such a premium price that people are straight up using good buds. Like they're buying $1,500, $2,000 indoor packs from California putting it through a machine and selling it for a premium. And you can see how this can start to become a problem because it's like, wait, if the bud is actually good and you're actually getting stoned from it and you would smoke this stuff without the spray pack anyway, like it gets this convoluted, like people don't know what spray is anymore and it's like becoming actually smokable kind of. Like if you see a spray pack, it's probably not CBD or hemp. It's actually probably good bud and it actually will get you high. And as a result, in places like New York, where this is becoming the main problem there, and this is the, like, the, New York's the number one city for spray, number one state for spray. I have no idea why they love it so much over there. Actually, I have a theory. It's because now that the spray pack has actually gotten good and they're actually using good pack, this is probably the best bud that a lot of these people in New York have smoked in general, you know what I mean? So now they've latched on to the spray. Like now people are bragging about the spray, they're posting about it, they're saying I'm smoking spray you're not I'm paying a premium for this you're not you know what I'm saying like it's a it's become a flex because the weeds actually getting them fucking high it's the weirdest it's the craziest thing bro that shit would not fly over here in Cali that shit would not fly it, even in Michigan I know they tried and it's really not working like places that you know your bud places where the consumer market is educated spray pack isn't flying. I'm not saying New York is stupid, but like they just legalized and there's barely any dispensaries or at least real dispensaries. I think it's something like one in five of the dispensaries in New York are actually real dispensaries. That means four out of five, 80% of them are trap shops selling bullshit and a lot of them are selling the spray pack. So if you like go into a dispensary, that's another problem. People think they're walking into real dispensaries and they're buying from a real person, but it's like, it's just like scammy BS stuff. Now, how is spray pack made? Now, it used to be, like I said, people would just grab really bad packs and they would even just spray it. Like they would literally get a spray bottle of terpenes and spray the bud and like mix it together with their hands. That's kind of ancient. I'm not sure if anyone's really doing that anymore. They're using a machine. They're using a very interesting machine. It's called The Box. That's, that's what it's called, I swear, The Box. Now, The Box is a machine that has a few functions and two of the three are actually like not the worst thing ever. The website claims it purifies, hydrates, and infuses your bud. For Purify, it says they have this patented crazy decontamination technology and it can kill any bacteria or mold or nasty stuff that could be growing on your plant, which is not a bad, you know, that's not bad. I like that actually. I don't want moldy bud. If a machine can take away all that stuff, I'm down. The second thing is it hydrates. So if your bud is a little bit too dry or even if your bud's a little bit too moist, it can bring the moisture levels down to the exact number that you need, which 
is also pretty cool, you know what I mean? Obviously, if you're growing really great weed in a really great facility and you're using good techniques, you don't need this stuff in an ideal world, but you know, some things happen. So I can kind of see the place for a device like this. But the third thing, all right, the third thing, let me read to you exactly what it says. Infuse, last but not least, is the option to add the ability to infuse terpenes, allowing you to recreate profiles, offer flavors such as banana or strawberry, boost the entourage effect, or even formulate for desired therapeutic effect. The options are endless. This is the part where it gets a little dicey, man. It gets a little sketchy. It appears that companies and a lot of trappers and questionable suspects are using this machine to put packs in, good or bad, and it automatically infuses it with some random terpene. Now, a lot of these companies will claim it's Canada-derived terpenes, they're CDT, they're naturally occurring, it's just in a jar. It's like, how the fuck is that? No, that doesn't even make sense. Like, you can claim they're from a plant, but at the end of the day, you're still adding it artificially, you know? Like, something that was not there originally, you're adding it in after. It doesn't matter if it's from another plant or from that plant. Like, it's not, you're infusing it in a way, I don't think it's meant to be infused. And that's where all of these crazy spray pack flavors are coming from. So you're getting, like, the marshmallows and the dessert flavored stuff and the, the super fruity flavors that just don't really make sense. Just really unnatural cannabis flavors instead of like stinky or gassy or like hazy you're getting fruit and desserts I guess now you're thinking Eric that sounds disgusting that sounds gross I don't want any of that how can I avoid it how, is there any way for me to identify a piece of sprayed bud and that is where the problem lies because there isn't as far as we know there isn't like a certain glow to it. There isn't a certain, like some of them even look better than others because it like almost looks like extra trichomes. So you're getting this really pretty nug. And like I said, people are using good packs now. Like people are using indoor packs that I would probably smoke anyway. And they're putting it through this machine and it looks the same at the end. So it's like, it just still looks like good bud. It's so fucked up. The one way that you can identify sprayed pack is with your nose. If you're fortunate enough to be able to open the pack before you buy it, I don't know if your dealers are letting you do that or whatever dispensary, sketchy place you're going to, but please ask them, fucking open that shit up, smell it. And if it smells just too fake, artificial, if it smells like a slab or candy, or I mean, that's the thing, right? Because weed does smell like candy. Like there are, Banana, there's banana OG, that's a real ass strain. There's some tangerine terps that I've smelled from a rosin or whatever that just smells ridiculous. It doesn't smell like weed at all, you know? I think your eyes can fool you for sure, but your nose, your nose is gonna tell you the truth for the most part. Also stay away from like the super bright colorful packaging. Sprinkles is like the biggest brand of spray out there. But I think it's pretty obvious. You look, you're like chocolate cake flavored weed. Like no, that doesn't, that doesn't exist, bro. Or if you got some balls, you can straight up ask them. Be like, yo, is this spray pack? And they'll either tell you yes or no. And if it's a, I see, that's the thing. I don't know. If it's a good company, will they tell you it's spray? Because they probably wouldn't be spraying it to begin with, right? I don't know. But I was given these eights the other week, or I don't even know how long ago I got these. But they straight up told me. Like, it says Galaxy Terps at the top. They told me that this is spray pack which I kind of respected. I was like, oh, thanks for like, at least not lying about it, but like, what the fuck? You know, why would you do that? I mean, look at these flavor names, man. Strawberry Milky Way, Big Bang Bubblegum, Martian Marshmallow, Cosmic Cookie Dough. Like these sound like actual like edibles, bro. This does not sound like weed flavors. I mean, look at this packaging and everything. It's like, it's a good package. It's, it's decent looking bud. I could give this to someone and they'd be like, oh, that's cool. It just smells so crazy, bro. It straight up smells like you opened a pack of Swishers or something, you know? Like it smells like a hemp wrap or it smells like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what they spray on the hemp wraps and stuff as well. So let's, let's get into that, right? Let's, the main question, all right, Eric, we learned all about all this. We learned how to identify, we learned it, but like, what if I smoke it? Is it dangerous? Is it safe? Am I gonna die? Am my lungs gonna explode? And it doesn't seem like it. Like it doesn't seem like it's sending anyone to the hospital, like that vitamin E acetate stuff back in the day. It doesn't seem like it's really, hurting anyway it, it actually seems like people fucking like it in new york for some reason like there's a good portion of people that actually prefer this stuff and it leads me to like this weird crossroads where it's like if it's safe and people aren't getting hurt from it 
will this like onboard more people the weed? But like, you don't want people smoking fake weed though, you know? But like, I don't know. I'm about to say a hot take right here. I'm gonna say a hot take. I think this is no different than smoking distillate carts with added terps in it. I think it's the exact same thing, which is why I've strayed so far away from distillate these past few years because they just add shit to it. You know what I mean? Like in the same way that you take distillate and you add some flavors into it and then you smoke it, it's, th it's this, it's the exact same thing. It's just, this is in bud form. And I know a lot of you guys smoke distillate. I know a lot of you guys smoke carts. So you're, sp you're literally smoking sprayed weed. Like it's the exact same terpenes. I'm sure the companies are actually the exact same. Like I'm 99% sure that the same companies that are selling the terpene to these companies that mix it in carts are selling the same exact terps that they're spraying on bud. So take with that information as you will. I will not consume it. I'm gonna stay far away from it. I don't think it's gonna kill you, you know? But I don't think it's gonna not kill you. You know what I mean? Like this is our first time. We're like the first human smoking this stuff. You know, like humans have been around for thousands and thousands of years. We've really only been smoking distilled cannabis and like sprayed cannabis for like 10. Do you know what I mean? Like we are the guinea pigs. We'll see if this stuff leads to some like crazy cancer later on down the line. Um, but I think I'm just gonna stay away from it as far as possible. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to just not consume any of this I want to keep it as natural as possible. It's kind of the same reason I take like mushrooms over acid. I'm sure acid's not going to kill me or send me to the you know crazy hospital or anything, but but I want to keep away as many like man-made factors and variables as possible, right? Like I just want good clean medicine. I don't want to add or subtract anything to it. Like I just want it as it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we'll see how this turns out. Like what if this is the future of cannabis? Like what if like what if Sally doesn't like the way weed tastes, but she really enjoys the effects of weed? Well, now there's a marshmallow flavored weed for her and she likes it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that good or is that bad? I think it's bad, I think. But if it gets more people consuming the plant and if it gets more people enjoying the plant and it gets more people, you know, I don't know. I'm like at such a weird crossroads from it. Personally, I'm not gonna smoke it like I said, but it's out there, I guess, and I don't think it's necessarily gonna go away unless there's more educational videos like this and you spread this to your friends, like, yo, this is really what you're smoking. You probably shouldn't, you know what I mean? But hey, I'm not your mom, I'm not your motherfucking dad. Fucking smoke whatever you wanna smoke, bro. If you enjoy the spray pack and it doesn't kill you, who am I to tell you not to smoke it? You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Just don't pass that shit to me, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Drugs 101, THC 101, whatever you want to call it. If you learned something, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, all that. Share this to a friend that smokes spray and um, try to get them a little educated, you know? And if they continue to do it, fuck it. At least they're educated now, you know? There's nothing worse than an ignorant smoker. At least know what you're consuming and what's out there, you know? Be knowledgeable. Fucking learn some things. I love you. See you next episode. Thanks for vibing. Get high on the right stuff, all right? And get something from Adam and Eve. Get real horny. Let's go, babies. I love you.